Hey guys, T Riz here. So I just wanted to share with you a quick video on how I play Rocket League Sideswipe on PC. I sometimes use emulator, I sometimes use my phone. So this video will show you how I use a Nox player to run Rocket League Sideswipe and also some little issues that come up when using an emulator on your PC. So here is the guide that I used that helped me download Rocket League Sideswipe on PC. So a huge thanks to Small Butters. This guide was a really good guide to help me understand how I can get this running on my computer. So the first step is pretty simple. Click this link and it'll take you to the Nox Player website and you can start to download the Nox Player. So just hit the freshest download there. And as you can see, it's advertising Rocket League Sideswipe on PC. All the links that are on here are very, very safe. I have used them, so there's no issues there. Once you have downloaded, because I already have downloaded it, start the install process, install it to where you want, and make sure that you do not add on any extra programs. You don't need those programs. You don't know what those programs are, so there's no point doing that. Yeah, it says, please be aware of this stuff. Do not install any other programs. You just don't need it. After that, your installation should start for your Nox player. So once you've installed, close the Nox app and then you wanna, you'll see on your desktop that you'll have two apps, the Nox app and then the Nox multi-drive. You want to open the Nox multi-drive. This is important, this is the one that works. So once you open up the multi-drive, you wanna add your own emulator and this way you can put all the settings in for what type of emulator we want to run. So once it's downloaded and once you've opened up the Nox Multi Instant Manager, you will just have zero Nox player on there. You do not want to do that one because it runs on Android 7. You rather run it on the Android 964 bit, okay? So to do this, to get this here, you hit add emulator and then you're going to select Android 9, 64 bit. And as you can see, they've added as Nox player four. Okay, let's just start this out as a fresh account here. So. This is the important part. You wanna change some of these settings. So you can run it on two core, but I would prefer to run it on four core. If you know your PC has more than four cores, you can actually set it to as many cores as you have. So I have an eight core CPU, so I'm gonna run it as that. And then I'm also gonna put in the memory, the same memory, 4096, so I'm using more of my RAM and more of my CPU to run the game, just for a smoother experience. Make sure that enhanced compatibility mode, OpenGL, is ticked on. Basic mode DirectX does not work, so make sure that that's ticked on there. And then you want to set it to your resolution, so you want to do 1920 by 1080, okay? So from here, gaming, we want to keep it at 60 frames per second, okay? Uh, the game runs at 60 frames per second. I don't think it goes any higher, so there wouldn't be any point doing that and make sure that open ASTC texture is on. Speakers auto recognition, keep that on for the time being. So now this is important, the device. You wanna make sure that the device is set to the Samsung S20 Ultra. Okay, so it's the most, it's pretending that it's the most recent phone on your computer. Display, this is just general things that you can change. That is not important for us. Um, and same with general in there. So once that's all done, then it is set up. So we're gonna open up uh, Nox Player 4 by hitting that play button. So here we've got Nox Player started up on a fresh account. So as you can see here, there is some apps already installed, but we want Rocket League Sites up. So make sure you hit tools here, and then you go across to the Play Store. Once you're in the Play Store, sign in. So once you sign in, just type in the search bar, RL Sideswipe. When that loads up, you want to hit install. And then once you've hit install, just wait for it to download. Then once it's downloaded, just hit that sweet, sweet play button. You will load up the game and it'll take a little while, a little bit longer than normal. And I just read through the end user license agreement. I'm gonna accept it, I feel like it's good. So as you can see, log in with Epic, Epic Games, log in with your account, whatever you use for your normal Rocket League. And once you sign in, it should take you back to the game and then it started it up. As you can see on the screen, they already have keyboard support. So WASD for your movements, Q spacebar one and two. I would prefer to play on controller, that's up to you, but you can play keyboard at the moment. So that's something new that they've added in. Um, I will show you how to connect your controller. So as you can see, the game is running. So right now I'm gonna close Nox, plug in my controller, restart it up and then we are gonna see how that registers. Now, we just jump back onto my main. It's the same, same as the other account. I was just gonna play after I finished this video. 
So once you're in here, you can use your mouse as the touch screen. So we can go into training and we just want to test out our controller to see if it works. So what we want to do is we hit this button over here on the right, one that looks like the keyboard, and uh, they already have Rocket League Sideswipe controller support. So this is new. Um, as well, you can switch it over into PS controller as well. So this is definitely new that they've added in. Um, I like to swap these buttons over. So I want my X jump. And a good way to line that up is to actually go settings, show options, configure. And then that way you can set your buttons to wherever they want to be. So let's have a look. So the X can be right there in the middle and the square can be right there. And let's go back to the game. If our buttons work, jump works. Right now, boost isn't working. So boost is under square. So I can actually change that back to circle and then that way it will work. Um, other things that I have noticed in the emulator is that you end up, after a bit of time playing, the sound ends up glitching out. So some troubleshooting methods that I figured out that actually work sometimes, not all the time. First thing that I try to do is I go into gaming and then I would change the speaker into my actual real tech speakers that are going through my headset. I would save that and then I would close the app and then I would restart Rocket League. If that didn't work, then I would close the entire Nox app and then I would restart Nox from the beginning. Then if that doesn't work, I also try to change this set, these settings in here and bring it down to two cores. Sometimes that works and it still runs pretty smoothly on two cores. And then the final troubleshooting method is just restarting your computer and then it, it should bring back that sound into that good quality. So thank you for watching this video. If this helped out, hit a like button. If you are struggling to do this, write a comment down below. I usually respond. I might be able to help you out a little bit and hit that sub button and I'll see you all next time. Bye.